I'm over today, over this truck, over this truck situation. <sighs> well, this just happened. We're just leaving church and the engine kind of blew up. It blew a hole, it blew the spark plug out of the engine. So thankfully we have some really good friends here at church. They're gonna let us borrow their truck so that we can make it up to the barbecue that we're having with all of the other YouTubers you guys know, Marie, Random Oki Farms, Eddie Family Farm, Mike from the Fowler Family Farm. We're all getting together today and uh, we're supposed to be headed up there right now. But then this happens. So thankfully our friends are gonna let us borrow their car so that we can still go to that and we can actually then come back here and get this truck fixed. But yeah, let me show you guys what happened. So we literally just backed out. I pulled forward and the spark plug literally blew out of the top of the engine. Unfortunately, it's the spark plug that goes in the back of the engine, which is awful because it's gonna be really hard to fix. Uh, the last time I did this, it was actually in Corpus Christi. We were like eight hours away from our house. That was a whole nother story. Well, I'll briefly go over that in a little bit, um, but it was the front, so it was really easy. Now this one towards the back, not as easy. Hopefully I can still do it though. All right, y'all, let me bring you back up to speed. It's still Sunday. We took the boys home in our uh, friend's truck. Thank goodness for them, guys. Huge shout out to them. Uh, Amber and Michael, you guys are the best. Thank you so much for uh, helping get our family home and letting us take your truck to the barbecue. We haven't made it to the barbecue yet. Um, Maverick's doing a nap, so I figured we needed to get two cars up here. So I drove this truck, Marcel will bring the other truck up and then we'll go up to the barbecue. But while I'm waiting for them to nap, I figured, okay, let me get up here and I will start working on this. Oh, <laughs> another reason why is uh, the people let us borrow their car they left their um, key to their house in it. So they had no way to get into their house. So I had to bring that up to them. So I figured, let's just let's get started on this. So, stopped at AutoZone. Thankfully they had the part that I need. And so we should be pretty much good to go. At least to start getting this put back to working condition. So, it is this cylinder right here. One, two, three, third one back right here. Um, yeah, it completely blew out. I don't know what this is actually. So that's unplugged. Here's the other half of the coil. So I'm gonna have to figure out where this plugs into. I don't know if this goes into the fuel rail or what. Um, yeah, don't know. Oh, it is, that's the injector. I'll be darned. So the injector is right. Oh, let's see if I can get in there. Right there. So that plug goes in there. That one goes in there. But I've got to fish down in that hole in the dark abyss and see if I can't fix this. For those of you that are interested, whoa, which I'm sure most of you probably aren't, but I will uh, kind of go through what we're doing here. So basically, the engine on this truck has an aluminum case, which aluminum is soft metal and the spark plug is steel. So if it loosens at all, it starts to vibrate and it will actually strip out the thread so you can't screw it back in without putting in a helicoil in. A helicoil is basically you drill out the hole and you put new threads in it and then your spark plug can screw into that. So that's basically the gist of what I have to do on this. And it's not a very convenient workspace but it could have been worse. It could have been the far back one. Thankfully it's one up from the back. So it's a little bit better, but still gonna be a pain in the butt. This is the tool set. This is what it looks like. So I got to drill that in then we'll drill it back out. It's quite the process, um, but yeah, drill it in, drill it out, put the new piece in, glue it in. We're using a special uh, high temperature glue, I guess, <laughs> kind of thing. And then, uh, put it back together and then it's got to sit for 24 hours. So tomorrow morning, afternoon, whenever we get done with whatever we got going tomorrow, I'll come back up here and we'll pick up the truck. Well, we've run into our first problem. I'm trying to get this set up to do it and I cannot get this to work. The socket is too big to fit in the hole that the spark plug goes in. So I can't get this to go in there. I can't remember how I've done this because I've done this before. I've done it once on this truck and I've done it on another truck and I cannot figure out in my head how I got this to work. So I'll get back with you guys when I figure it out. Marcy came and picked me up. Like I said, we're gonna have to 
cherry rig that tool a little bit. So I'm not gonna get to that today. We had to come up here to the barbecue, of course. So we're just pulling up here to Marie's place. Uh, you guys have probably seen, we, we were up here like just, I don't know, a month ago when we did a, a video collaboration with them. So we had a lot of fun doing that, but we're gonna be back up here today and uh, we're gonna have a little bit to eat. And Maverick, are you excited? Yeah. You're so excited, where are we? We will show you guys around a little bit and uh, hopefully we can all get this. Oh, and all of the flowers, yes. We've talked about this the last two videos of like pretty much the last six months, we've talked about doing this. So we're finally doing it and uh, we will show you guys all of the flowers too. We finally made it here. So we'll introduce you guys to everybody. I'm sure all of you already know everybody, uh, but we're here with the entire Oklahoma group and just having a blast, having a fish fry. Look, Maverick was on an Easter egg hunt, you guys. Oh, where's he going? What do you say? What do you tell her? No, 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 say hatchet. Hatchet. Oh, thank you. I was holy hatchet. Oh my gosh, you guys, Emerald showed up here. <laughs> Just kidding. She has one that looks exactly like Emerald. It's Gussie. No. It looks just like Sean. Just like But Sean. that's not what Gussie looked like. Yeah. No. If she molted one more time, that is no. exactly what she looked like. That no. is her. Because she wasn't brown. She's black. There she is. No. It's either that one or that one. I don't think so. I think so. I don't know about that. Is that a girl duck or a boy duck? That's a boy duck. Yes. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> it's like a nature walk. It's like a family reunion nature walk. <laughs> but everybody has their own cameras out. <laughs> this is great. So we've got Brandon and Stephanie from the... Uh, wow, I can't even... Eddie family farm. Eddie family. Wow, like the, uh, it's been a day. Like that fish, what was in that fish? <laughs> so everybody's pointing cameras, so nobody do anything crazy. <laughs> we got the Eddie family farm, Mike from the Fowler family farm, and Marie Random Oakey farm. You guys probably, I mean, we've done collaborations with them all, you know, all through the last year, so you guys have probably seen them, but we'll leave links to all of their channels down in the description. If you guys haven't checked out any of their channels, go check them out. They're super fun. As you can see, Marie has just got every animal imaginable. And like Marcy said, we're on a nature walk. So we're gonna also go show you the flowers. We've talked about showing you the flowers for quite some time now, and we're here to actually do it. So let's go look at them. Look at this, y'all, just rows and rows of flowers. Boys, what do you think? You like your nature walk? We got both of them in here. This double, oh, are we sleeping? We'll leave him asleep. This double stroller is amazing, y'all. Amazing. Maverick, what you doing? What? Can you hear him over there yelling, Mars? Mars? He's going through the stage right now, you guys, where he only calls Marcy Mars. He doesn't say mom, it's Mars. And I think it is the cutest he stinking won't thing. Call me mom. And it bugs her, but it it's hilarious. He didn't even call me mom until he was like one and a half. And now he calls me like, Mars. <laughs> Who's that for? <laughs> you better not go pick the other ones. <laughs> This is bad practice, Marsh or Maverick. You're gonna end up picking the real flowers. <laughs> Look at all these amazing flowers, you guys. And people. Amazing flowers. Daddy amazing people. Flower. You got Daddy a flower? Gee, thanks, bud. Cheese. So wanted, it's a cheese flower. <laughs> I wanted a cute family picture in the iris, but now our boys are both asleep. <laughs> Sorry, Marsh. Better luck next year. <laughs> Stroller even does good off roading. Um, ba -da 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 Sorry, I know the wind is probably really bad, and uh, but these are just amazing. You guys will see, she has so every different color, every different variety, every different type, and uh, yeah, it's amazing to see. That's like the violet, or no, I don't even know what you'd call that, but yeah. That's awesome. That is so sweet. Maverick, what did you do? Maverick Thank just gave you. Tanya some flowers. That's my favorite color, Maverick. This is a oh. <laughs> Oh, 
You gonna find more? He's gonna be picking flowers all night. Marcy says she really likes the pink ones. I like those ones. Those are like even a lighter shade of pink. Yeah, they're like these white pinkish colored ones. What Marie says is that if you take the ones that are just starting to open. Yep. And you take them home and stick them in warm water that when you wake up in the morning, they will be a fully bloomed flower. That's what the ones that you guys sent with us on Sunday when we were here last week, yeah. that's what they did when we woke up okay. the next morning, they were all bloomed. Yeah. So yeah, it's stinking cool. Still blooming. Yeah, because we got, you know, the top one was ready, but the bottom ones weren't. Right. So now the bottom ones are starting to pop off, which is, is sweet. This is amazing. I wish I could get an aerial shot for you guys. Oh, no, no, no. That one's the ants, buddy. You don't want to touch that. Thank which you. which one's pretty? This one. No, that's dirt. Mm -hmm. Which flower is pretty? They're mean. They're mean. They're mean. Hey, bud, let, let mommy tell you. Those, those are ants. They'll bite you and then hurt. He hasn't been bitten by ants yet, you guys. So, <laughs> it's going to be a learning experience sometime this summer, I'm sure. Okay. He just sees bare dirt and says, I want to dig. Okay, that's that's not dirt. Those are ants, and they bite. They go like this, and they make Maverick's skin hurt. Okay. Maverick, what flower did you get? Say orange ones. Orange one. Orange one's pretty. Yeah. Who you want to give it to? Huh, me. Its name oh, is. Oh, mommy. Oh, thank you. Its name is Blakeness. <laughs> Blake. <laughs> Maverick, come Maverick smell. Uh, that is Fifi's favorite. Oh, really sorry, young. Fifi. That's Maverick. Orange no, juice. no, orange juice. Yeah, orange juice. It just did good up at the Oklahoma Iris Society. Really? Number yeah. one in orange. Um, watch yeah. out, the answer got nuts. first in orange oh. with it. Yeah, good good choice, Maverick. That's a nice one. Yeah. Well, let us uh, pick you out. What sure. next year's is going to be? We'll have Maverick him. Smell. Yeah. <laughs> we'll have him pick, and he'll yeah. probably be right. <laughs> Run, no, Forrest, run! Baby. Ah, baby. Got me! You beat me. Good job, buddy. Hey, are you having fun? Whoa. You having fun? I think you are having fun. <laughs> Whoa, don't fall over. Where are you going? Maverick, go play in the dirt. Be a boy. Keep buying these shoes. <laughs> run, Forrest, run! Go, go, go! Okay, y'all are about to witness something you've never seen before on the internet. Uh, we're not even going to explain it. We're just going to show you. It's going to be pretty easy. They just oh, yeah, called and they all came running. The goats coming too. Oh, yeah! I forgot about the goats! Oh, no. Oh, wait, I'm not even recording. All right, go. just a great time yesterday hanging out with everybody I think that's the first time besides the conference that we actually all got together and hung out so it was a great time you guys saw Maverick had a blast playing with all the other kids it was just a good time in general but I made it back I've got the part that we have to now modify so we are gonna go give that a try 
and uh, see if we can't make this tool work for us. So currently, if you guys remember, it fits in a 19, but a 19 socket doesn't fit down. So we're using a 5 8 that will fit down the spark plug hole because this is how you get the spark plugs out. But we've got to make that fit inside of there. So that's going to be quite tricky but I think we're gonna be able to make it work. Worst case scenario, I'll weld a new nut on here that will attach so it will literally just go like that and do it. But I think we're gonna try grinding it down first on the sander to see if we can get this to slide on. It's gonna be quite a bit of work though because that's gonna take off a substantial, a substantial amount of material. You can see I've shaved that down. It's not very symmetrical. Let's see if we're making any progress. Hi, bud. We got a long ways to go. Well, we got close, but I really just don't like how this is turning out because I feel like when I go and put it in there, it's going to go in all crooked. And when I tighten it, it's going to get crooked. So, I don't know what to do. I'm kind of thinking I might just have to start over. Which I don't want to do. Because that means I have to go to the auto store again. And I really don't want to do that. You guys, I am absolutely fed up with this right now. I absolutely hate that I have to spend my entire day running around trying to track down parts, having it work, having it not work, having it not work, having it not work. It's exhausting. I am, I'm over it. I really am. And you might be just saying, why don't you go buy a new truck? You have all sorts of issues with this truck. Well, if we could, we would. It's just not really in the cards right now. And so I've really got to get this thing working. <sighs> it's hard. It's hard, you guys. Life is hard. It is not all sunshine and roses. You guys know. We have all sorts of random stuff go wrong. But today, I guess it's just a harder day for me. That's it. Rant over. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I have so much I'm supposed to be doing today, y'all. And honestly, probably none of it's going to get done. So, it is what it is. We're just... We're going to... There's literally no other option. So... Here we go. I'm headed to um, O'Reilly's. We <laughs> we Google searched, so I told you guys we have had the, we had this happen before last year, and I would thought I bought the exact same kit and part. Well, I was telling Marcy what was going on. She's like, "Well, let's just look on the map and see what store it was that we bought it from last time." Turns out it was an O'Reilly's, not an AutoZone. So now I'm going to O'Reilly's to see if I can track down the exact same part because whatever tool we bought from there fit and worked. The one we bought from AutoZone obviously didn't. So I'm gonna try and track it down at O'Reilly's. I will keep you guys updated, but I'm over it y'all. I'm over today, over this truck, over this truck situation. <sighs> at least the weather's good. Oh my gosh, you guys, I've never seen anything like this literally pelicans by the hundreds what in the world i don't know if y'all can see them out there they look in person they're like right there but look at them there's literally hundreds of pelicans this is the weirdest thing i've ever seen kind of cool though there ain't going to be any fish in the lake after those things land. What in the world, guys? So many. That blows my mind. I've never seen anything like that. Yes. The day is turning around, possibly. So, let me show you guys. <laughs> okay, I, I'm extremely happy that they have the part and that we're hopefully going to be able to fix it. But also extremely frustrated at all the running around and stuff I've had to do. But I guess, actually, I'll show you this when we get to the truck because I don't want to open this right now and lose the parts. But let's just suffice it to say, I wasted like $40 on 
on a part that I can't even use now. But this new one is built correct. It's gonna stinking work. And I am beyond excited. I, I'm just glad to know how it worked last time. I'm just, I, you know what I'm grateful for? We were stuck in Corpus Christi. All right. I told you I'd tell you the story. Here's the story. So we went down to Corpus Christi. This was back when I was buying and selling dirt bikes. And we went down there to buy a dirt bike and then to buy the engine for my airplane. So we drove down there. We drove all day and we were like, let's go to the beach. We'll go hang out, go have fun. So we went down to the beach. We got a hotel right there just for the night at Corpus Christi. And uh, we're driving to go get dinner, to go get pizza. And there's a big bridge as you go over in Corpus Christi and the truck stopped working on the bridge. So we roll down the bridge and we pull off into like this pub and and uh, there was a pub there and a car wash. So we pull off there. We had AAA at the time. So I called AAA, we get AAA on their way, but we had no way to go and get the parts. So, and the closest store was in O'Reilly's. So I go in and I actually ran a mile and a half from the truck. Marcy and the baby are stuck in the truck waiting for AAA. Which out there, guys, AAA takes forever. Forever. I think the whole ordeal took us like four or five hours. So I literally was wearing flip-flops. And I ran a mile and a half of my flip-flops to O'Reilly's. Grabbed the parts. Marcy then ordered an Uber. And the Uber took forever to get there. But the Uber picked us up. And the Uber took us back to the hotel. And then I had AAA take the truck back to the hotel. Well, at this point... We had to reorder dinner. We got reordered dinner, just had it delivered to the hotel, went and picked it up. And I spent the next like three hours then working on the truck while Marcy put Maverick down to bed. Thankfully, we didn't have the twins at the time. It was just Maverick. But oh my gosh, you guys, it's just, uh, there's never a convenient time for a breakdown. I am glad though that this one broke down at the church yesterday and not on the side of the road. That is, that is more convenient. <laughs> is it ever going to end, you guys? Is it ever going to end? I don't know. We're giving it our best shot, y'all. We're trying and doing everything we can. Everything we know how to do. Hopefully one day it's all going to pay off. But, oh, it's a rough journey. This is the original one we bought, which used to look like that, except it had the filling. This is the one, the correct one. So the problem is, is we couldn't get the socket to fit on here and fit down the engine. Well, this one hooks onto there and it will fit. So I'm extremely excited about that. I was just talking to Mars and we were talking about our the last time we did this and we just realized it took us two years to realize how big of a miracle it was that we broke down where we did. Like I said, we, we ordered pizza at the wrong place and if we had ordered it at the right Domino's, we would have ended up going to a different auto parts store which would have had the wrong one and we would have been stranded down there having to pay somebody to come fix the truck we would have missed our appointments like it would have been awful but we happened to order the pizza at the wrong restaurant which put us right next to O'Reilly's which O'Reilly's then had the right part so you guys oh my gosh it makes me extremely grateful for that experience and that it went the way it did and it makes me glad that we were able to figure it out for this time so I'm gonna get after it we're gonna get working on this I'll show you guys a little bit of doing it and uh, we'll see how long it takes. I think it's about 11 o'clock. Hopefully I can be done here by noon. The absolute last thing we want is for metal shavings in the engine. So we have a little trick that we're gonna do here. Grease. Put a whole bunch of grease on this thing and that will catch the metal shavings and keep them, at least the majority of them from hopefully going into the engine. I just stuck it in there. Don't know if you guys can see that, but it's picked up just a couple of metal shavings. We're just barely starting, not even getting all threads on there yet, but starting to dig into it. So I just shoved a straw down there to see if the piston was hitting because if I screw this into the top of the piston, we're gonna have a lot of issues. So I think it actually is at the top. So I'm gonna have to try turning the car over, getting the engine to rotate without it starting this is going to be a little bit sketch. Let's see if I can do it. Just that little bit did it. I am so glad I watched that on a YouTube video and checked that. I didn't check that last time we did this. We just got lucky, I guess. Um, 
But now, now I can screw this in and I'm not gonna be worried about hitting the engine because I just shoved the straw all the way down there. It didn't catch this time. I've gotten it about halfway so far. It's going pretty smoothly. Basically, you go in, you get it tightened, you do one rotation of cutting, and then you pull it out, clean it off, stick it back in, do it again. So it is, uh, it's quite the process. So this is the helicoil. And basically this part is gonna stay in the engine and the spark plug will screw into it. So that's why we had to make the hole bigger for that to fit. So that will screw in and then the spark plug will screw into that. But we use this tool. I know probably a lot of you guys don't care about this, but I figured I'd just explain it because why not? This should screw onto here so then I can shove it down in there and uh, there we go. There, that goes on there. We'll drop that down, screw it in. All right, it's in. I hope it's uh, in all the way. All right, y'all, I made it back up here and uh, had a friend drop me off and we're gonna test it, see if it runs and hopefully drive it home. Hopefully there's nothing else weird with it. Oh, that sounds normal. Y'all, I am so stoked this is working right now. Beyond stoked. This is, uh, yeah, big deal as you guys know. We now have our truck back up and running. Hopefully, hopefully it will continue to do so and we won't have any more major issues. Thank you guys for watching today's video. It was, oh my gosh, a whirlwind of emotions. Uh, we had so much fun hanging out with all the other YouTubers. We had the stinking truck breakdown, which was just terrible, but it's fixed. It's been a couple of days and it's still working. So fingers crossed that problem is solved completely 100%. But thank you guys so much for watching today's video and we will see y'all on the next one.